welcome to Auto Jewel in Ghana. Here we specialize in high-end vehicle restorations. Today we would like to show you what we do, how we do it, and why we do it. So we uh, restore classic cars. Supercars. Sports cars. And luxury cars. We also do undertake mechanical repairs, engine transplants, engine rebuilds on uh, supercars, sports cars, luxury cars. Everything is covered. Well, when the vehicles come in, they are prepared by uh, technicians who will strip the cars down, uh, sometimes to the bare metal, and then uh, they go through uh, a preparation process where the paint sometimes is removed entirely from the body of the car. We have our own in-house spray booth where all the vehicles are prepared and painted right here on our premises. And once all the cars are done with the paint process and uh, refinishing process, they are cleaned and prepared and delivered to the customer. Well, Auto Jewel in Ghana is a um, Ghanaian owned business and uh, it's fueled purely by passion um, by myself and my team here who um, have taken their time to appreciate uh, the engineering of uh, uh, very finely finished cars. In the past, mainly um, high-end vehicle owners were um, skeptical about uh, having the uh, vehicles repaired and maintained right here in Ghana. Um, but we had to change that, and um, that's how Auto Jeweling was born. We um, took a time to uh, figure out what it took to um, maintain and restore some of these cars. And um, we invested heavily in the equipment and in training. And um, what you see here today is um, uh, what, what the end result is. <laughs> Welcome to Auto Jewel Inn again. Today we have another very special car. What you have here today is uh, it's a, it's a Maybach based on the uh, S-Class W222. And um, the client said to us, look, um, I've got this new Maybach coming in into, into Ghana, but I'm not happy with the standard finish. I need the car to look special. So we said, okay, well, if you want something special, we need to try and and emulate the likes of the Rolls Royces and the Bentleys because they, they tend to have very special finishes. So uh, we looked through a few of the offerings from Bentley and Rolls Royce and what we found was um, what you see here today is uh, what we call the uh, double chocolate um, effect. So it is two shades of brown but one seems to have a slight uh, copper effect in there. So like we do with all our ultimate finishes at Auto Jeweling, we strip the whole car down, take the whole car apart. And in the case of the Maybach, it's a little bit different from the uh, standard uh, S-Class. So the car has double weather sealings on the doors and in, in the side, side uh, seals as well. So what that means is that we have to remove twice as many parts as we would do on, on a regular S-Class, even though they look the same. Um, so once the car was torn down, we prepped the car, uh, used a special PPG paint um, which has a, more of a metallic effect in, in, in the color and uh, did a two-tone paint. So what we have here is the two-tone two -tone paint and usually when uh, most body shop would paint a car in two tones, you would find that where the two colors meet, there will be a slight ridge along the lines where they meet. But what we've done here is we've made it so seamless. So if you run your finger across it, you wouldn't feel the point where the, um, 
the, the two colors are meeting, so it's very, totally seamless. And again, uh, what we've done here is we've given it a very smooth finish. So we've done the mirror finish on this one here. So if you look at the reflection and this paintwork, it's, it, it's as flat as glass. It's not, uh, you won't find any uh, orange, orange peel effect. Now, if you compare this finish to um, a standard Mercedes or a standard Maybach finish, you realize that there is a, a big difference. Right, so this is the standard Maybach uh, paint finish. So this is how the car came out from the factory. This is another car and if you look closely at the reflection in the paint you realize that the uh, the finish isn't as as smooth as we as, as on the uh, on the other one that we've just worked on. So you find there's a bit of an orange peel effect and where there's a reflection you find that the, uh, the, the straight edges are not as straight as they should. It's not glass like, it's not mirror like. So it's a bit wavy. So that's the difference between paint finished by a uh, machine and a hand finished paint like uh, what we've done on our, on our Maybach. So we're back now at the uh, auto jeweling finished uh, Maybach. And if you look closely at the paint, the uh, reflection in the paint is as perfect as a mirror. It's very flat and very smooth. So there's no orange peel effect. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera can capture this but you should have a we have a very nice smooth finish in here and it's the same car but finished very differently and this is why it takes us over 100 man hours to prep this car and paint it to the same standards in the factory it probably takes them a couple of hours to, to paint the entire car so um, there is a huge difference between what you get here where we paint the, ca the cars by hand and we prep them by hand versus what comes out of the factory where they're painted by a robot Oh,